we're here at the Scottish Cultural Garden with Dave and Clark and Alex, and uh, this is the first tartan day you guys have had here. It is. It is. It's the first tartan day. So, first of all, what's a tartan? Oh, a tartan. A tartan. <laughs> How do you explain tartan? It's well over here. People would call it a plaid. Yeah. No, a plaid. In Scotland, is a blanket or, or, or a rug. Uh, the tartan is essentially the original tartan was made from. It was there were dyes that were used in the clothing of the people who lived in the Highlands. Most of the dyes were made from local vegetable materials and stuff, plants that were in the area. After about the 18th, 19th century, it became fashionable to wear tartan. <laughs> So something I said, Clark? <laughs> All the time. <laughs> and uh, it became these tartans that you see around you today. Like what Clark is, Andy. Like Clark. Like Clark. These are modern tartans. Okay. These are modern tartans. And when I say modern, modern in Scotland, two, three hundred years. Yeah. You know, brand new practically. Yeah. yeah. So that's tartan. Okay. That's tartan. Now, someone told me this is actually, April is actually Scottish... Heritage Month or yes, something. Yes, it's a national it's holiday. Who knew that? It's, I mean, a it's April 6th. It's a tartan day. Yeah. And, uh, Celebrating Scottish heritage in the United States. That's right. The whole month of April. That's right. We get the whole month. We don't do no, month we don't. Month. We, don't. Yeah. we get the whole month. We get the whole month. This is Scottish American Heritage Month. <laughs> so you do. So I think a lot of... Uh, Americans and a lot of people know about Robbie Burns, you know, probably from Old Lang Syne mostly and all, but who are some other people of Scottish heritage that James they might not Watt. know? James, James Watt. Watt, really? From my hometown? What's it? Know that? What? James Watt? What? <laughs> what? James Watt. The uh, pioneer, he didn't actually invent the steam engine, but he made it practical. Yeah. He made it practical and uh, right. it brought about the... Uh, he hastened the introduction of the uh, industrial revolution. revolution. Oh, yes, yeah. uh, sir. Uh, John Logie Baird, who invented the first television system. Uh, it was the Marconi system that was eventually used, but Logie Baird um, invented the first television system. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. absolutely. Dave, who do you think the people might not know as Scottish heritage? Besides you. Besides <laughs> uh, the uh, Neil Armstrong. Yeah, yeah, right. Neil really? Armstrong, yeah. We'll send the board over there. Yeah, start. Neil Armstrong. See, we're educating people already. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. yeah, I would say that that's one that's probably maybe just overlooked. That's the way that I would put it, you know. People don't know about it, but it's probably overlooked. And I think also, when, if you ask an average person about Scotland, they're going to think of golf. Yeah. And they might think about whiskey. So tell us a little about golf, if you can, how that... It's the Nash St. Andrews we've all heard of, right? Yeah. Uh, I'm probably the only Scotsman who doesn't play golf. Well, <laughs> really? I have I have seven brothers. They all oh. play golf. <laughs> I dare to be different. <laughs> I'm and, a great believer in what Churchill said about you know, the game of golf spoils a good walk. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah That's yeah. true. And, and there's whiskey with an E and there's whiskey without an E. <laughs> now, I, I'm sure this is a controversial thing. But uh, tell, tell us the difference with whiskey and whiskey. Whiskey. It's good whether it's got an E or it doesn't have an E. <laughs> doesn't matter to me with an E or without an E. It's just good. It's primarily whiskey with an E. In Europe would be Irish. Yeah. Or American. Yeah, American, yeah. right. But um, only whiskey without the E is Scotch. That's the only one that can be described as Scotch. Even if it's made in Japan. Really? Japanese whiskey is excellent, incidentally. Yeah. That's not thunder you hear, that's my father rolling in his grave. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, as long as it's got 20% of scotch in the blend, right. it can legally be called scotch whiskey. Oh, wow. And that would not have an E, probably. No, it would. Oh, it would? Yeah, because yeah. it would be scotch whiskey. Okay. <laughs> so confused. It's the, uh, I, I don't have to figure it out yet. I don't particularly... So, just like so watching you three fine gentlemen, people are going to want to know about the Scottish uh, community here in Northeast Ohio and also the Scottish Cultural Garden. So we, where can they find some more information? There are a number of... Uh, let you talk about the, the garden. Uh, but yes, uh, we have a, a website, uh, uh, Scottish Info 123 
uh, at Gmail. You can get some information there. The website is www.scottishculturalgardens.org. And wonderful that it is. We have lots of events planned coming up. And we're going to plan some more. And we've got some wonderful people that are celebrating and enjoying today. And we're going to do more of it. Absolutely. So what well, we also established, we established the membership to the, the uh, Scottish uh, Garden uh, Cultural Society, Inc. And uh, membership pins are $10. And those are annual membership pins. And uh, you can... You know, you, you can contact me or you can become a member online or you can make donations online as well uh, through the website. So uh, that's what we have coming up. We have a membership distribution list that anything that we have going on here that we contact um, those membership, uh, those on the membership list. So uh, we let people know what's going on and I'd say the next thing that we do have coming up would be the Scottish Games. And that's yeah. out at the Berea Fairgrounds. And uh, what's the date of the uh, Scottish? The last weekend in June. So the last weekend in June. Right. Yeah. 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 All right. Well, we're looking forward to it. And uh, uh, Clark, I got to ask you: Is there a, having blue shoes? Is that just because of the blue of the, the flag, or you know? <laughs> it is. <laughs> Nothing better than. Careful. Wait a second! Oh, 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 wait a second! This is a family video. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, well, I'm not going to ask Dave or Alex to show their legs. So, no, no, no. Okay, thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you.